This is from tasteofcinema.com. This is a list of the 20 most hated movies ever made. Oh, I've had this list. This, this list drove me nuts. Oh, oh good, good. Uh, I like it with <laughs> driven nuts. <laughs> Telling, tellingly, uh, most of the movies in this list are recent. Uh, they made no bad movies pre-1995 or so, according to this. Right. Wow. So, so here we go. Number 20, Sex in the City 2. Never saw it. <laughs> the ty- a typical review associated with Sex in the City 2. Here's something from Rotten, Tomato, uh, Rotten Tomatoes. A horrible movie. With nothing to author, uh, with nothing to off- offer, either than the envy of being in Abu Dhabi. Honestly, I should have never even entered the cinema room to watch this. Oh my God! What a terrible review! Fuck that! I will let it that out. Okay, number two. <laughs> the cinema room. <laughs> the cinema room. <laughs> what? what are we in 1902? <laughs> I, sh- I should have I should have pre-read that. Uh, <laughs> The flickering images. The picture show was uh, their number nineteen. Their number nineteen is the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Again, another. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. Neither one of these movies I bothered to watch. I have to say. Can't, number can't eighteen. Now, th- this this is a movie that belongs on here. You know, in the history of movies. Uh, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen uh, doesn't even make a blip. Uh, uh-huh. But something like Battlefield Earth was considered a catastrophe, uh, uh, you know, for all involved. Yeah. Yes, and that was that was that was truly a terrible movie. I mean, you know, no question about it. And, you know, it's it's hated for many other reasons than just it being a bad movie. It's also you know the Scientology aspect of it and so forth. So that's definitely a movie that. Deserves to be on the list, I think. Number seventeen, uh, Neil Abutes, The Wicker Man. These all suck so Is, far. Uh, isn't that movie though? One of those movies that's so bad it's great. No, <laughs> I mean it's not. It's it's. I mean not great, but you know what I mean. Like it's really funny. Like it's really bad. So bad that it's funny. You know there I mean, are you know, that, there are movies like that, but I think with The Wicker Man, people just laugh. People just want to see the highlight clips, the ten minute highlight clips, so they can laugh at it. Uh-huh. Nobody actually uh-huh. wants to sit through that movie again. They yeah, I mean, I don't want to sit through movie. it again. It's bad enough. I saw it. I mean, all right, let's go, go on to what's next. I mean, sixteen X Men: The Last Stand, the Brett Ratner. I don't, I don't, again, I don't think it really. Would. I don't. I Is wouldn't that? put that on there. No, no, that doesn't belong on there. Uh, number fifteen for them is Alien versus Predator. Well, I mean that film sucks. I mean both both of those films sucks because they they do what you know. It's very rare that you can do that to a film where you can destroy two franchises in one film. But number yeah, number fourteen. Number fourteen is Highlander Two: The Quickening, which uh, yeah, uh, awful awful subtitle: The Quickening. <laughs> the Quickening. But yeah, it does belong <laughs> on there, and I'll tell you why. Because the first film is actually very good, and then they go on to this this, tan- this horrible tangent. The first film is a decent film, is a fun film. Number thirteen, Ang Lee's The Hulk or Hulk. Uh, Hulk. No, does not belong I mean, on here. Some people are going back with The Hulk and actually saying that it's, that it's actually not as bad as as I mean I haven't seen it, so I, but uh, but some some people are trying to be a little revisionist about that film. So. It's got too much visual imagination going for it. I mean, it's going for something different, you know. And so, you know, I it's a good, it's a good film. In, you know, the more you think about it, the more. I mean, yeah, ten years ago when I saw it, I wasn't crazy about it. But the more you think about it, you actually step back and you know, I gotta give Ang Lee credit for trying to do something new. Mm-hmm. Number twelve, Catwoman. Man, these, I would have put it up at two. But I mean, you know, that that movie was that movie was terrible, no question about it. Number eleven, Lady in the Water. I mean, that's like shooting fish in a barrel. With I mean, he deserves his own list. Number ten, yeah, the happening. I mean, the happening. So he he, <laughs> he clearly has his own list. 
<laughs> well, he's got two on there, and they're both pretty bad. I mean, they're both really bad. But the happening is actually, yeah, the happening definitely deserves to be on it. Yeah, much more than Lady in the Water. Like, like yeah, I, I, thought, I, I, could, I thought Lady of Lady in the Water had some things, you know, some good things about it. I mean, I didn't love it, but uh, yeah, me too. But, you know, but it had something going for it at least. So it did. I mean, it had something in there, you know. Number nine, The Last Airbender. <laughs> you see, it's oh my god, okay, three in so. a row! Wow. Yeah. Number eight, uh, Die Another Day. You know, I, I don't know that people like this movie. It's not a very good movie, but who talks about it? Nobody talks about, oh, God, I hated that movie. It ruined Bond. You know, it, it doesn't have that. Right. It didn't ruin Bond. It was, a, it was a standard James Bond movie. It's just that Number ruined seven. Bond. If that ruined Bond for you, you hadn't been paying attention for the last, like, you know, 40 years. I'm sorry. House of the Dead, number seven, the Uva Bowl movie. Oh, that's just – oh, who who gives a shit? Come on. Number six. <laughs> that, okay. <laughs> Number uh, six, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. That was the second one, right, the incoherent one? That's the second one. But my question is – all right, this is already game. I mean, House of the Dead, who the fuck saw House of the Dead but Revenge of the Fallen? Everyone, you know, look, that was Revenge of the Fallen. I actually think the third Transformers movie is the one to beat, but really, Revenge of the Fallen? Oh, because they had the two Transformers that talked in the ghetto ease? Oh, give me a break. Uh, number five, you know, the, the, number five is, a, 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 along with Battlefield Earth, that's what this list should be. That movies that maintain some level of infamy for being hated. Mm-hmm. Every yeah. other movie on this list has not fit that bill yet. Uh, but but their number five, Batman and Robin, certainly does. No, no. I would throw that one in there. Yeah. Oh, sure. definitely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're getting a number four. Perhaps this belongs on here, yes. Uh, number four is Gus Van Sant's Psycho remake. Oh, um, is it yeah, really animated, though? I mean... People that hated movie, it before that... it came out. I mean, uh, pe- yeah, I mean, I mean, they hate the idea of it. But uh, it's a, it's a bad movie, you know. It is a bad movie, but it's a bad movie because it just sucks. Well, I would say this: if you try and just divorce yourself from the fact that Psycho's already been made and that it's a thing, if you try and look at it for what he what he was kind of trying to do with it, um, and I think it was a real self serving reason why he did that film, uh, but. Uh, I I don't think that it's one of the worst ever made. I mean, you know, I, it's the idea of it that people. It's hate it's one of the well. most hated movies ever made, and that's what this list is. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, the, and you know, I like I like Gus Van Sant Psycho. Actually, I, I thought it was a worthy experiment that was fascinating. It wasn't successful in the least, but it was at least fascinating, and it's, a, and it's an experiment that really excited me. So I didn't think it was blasphemous, but I do mm-hmm. concede that that is that is an incredibly hated movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, their number three is Twilight, uh, hated by the male population. I would imagine. <laughs> Is what they're, yeah. Uh, they're number two. They're number okay. two. Uh, you know, the two and one probably belong on this list. Um, number two is Star Wars: The Phantom Menace. Mm-hmm. No yeah. argument there. Yeah, that's a hated film. And number one, which I actually I don't think it's worthy of the other entries in the series, but I think there's a lot of great stuff in it. So I don't think it's com- a completely worthless movie, but people generally hate it. Um, is Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Wow, that's number one. Wow. Uh, oh yeah. I I wouldn't put yeah. I mean, but people people didn't like that film, and you know, I, I didn't care for it myself. Although I thought some parts of it were were kind of fun, but uh, but I didn't think it was the worst, even the worst film of that year. So, yeah, they're not they're not ranking think, the I worst what, films ever made, though. I mean, that's not what. Yeah, this, this I know. Is. They're talking what they're talking about here. What they're really talking about 
is all the little fanboys getting together and saying, ooh, I hate that movie. So it's those people who are saying, I hate the movie. That's what they're talking about. And they all sound like Jerry Lewis when they do it. That's, uh, yeah, <laughs> right. So Hang on, Dean. Like, I, I got a sound clip for you. Ooh, you do. You do. But, uh, you know, what's funny about this, this list, too, is, uh, as we've already mentioned, you know, it has no, it has no sense of history to it. Uh, they didn't yeah. try and research it. They didn't try and – they didn't even try and go back and just simply Google worst movies ever and, like, come up with some kind of thing about, you know, you know, The Conqueror, the Howard Hughes movie or, or – uh, you know, Man of Steel, well, or here, Minor here's the Bridge, difference. or even movies that have had a critical reassessment. I mean, you could say that Heaven's Gate was a very hated movie when it first came out, and yeah. so you could put that on a list, and you wouldn't be wrong. But it's it's being reassessed right now as we speak. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, and there's some people that would put something like Birth of a Nation on that list. Uh, but exactly. Here's something. Here is something, though, and a reason why I think maybe the current the currency, not as in money, but being current uh, of this list, is relevant. In that we live in an age where we can spew hate um, a lot more readily than we could before. I mean, mm-hmm. the reputation of a movie can die uh, with with a tweet, you know. So, I think that's a big reason too why a lot of modern films belong on the list because we that that sense of of hatred of some of these movies w- was widespread in like record time whereas you didn't necessarily get that back then in the birth of a nation time yeah. mm-hmm. Yeah, but it makes for a really boring list, if you ask me, and not an authoritative list, and not a list that should be called, for fuck's sake, the 20 most hated movies of all time. It's just not, I mean, if you wanted to say the 20 most hated movies of the internet era or of the last 20 years. Well, and that's why we like to give them time on our show. (laughs) (laughs) 